Hello all you happy people. Today we're going to take a quick look at Renfield. This was directed by Chris McKay and stars Nicholas Holt as the titular character and Nicholas freaking Cage as Count Dracula. Almost a century after meeting the Count, Renfield has come to the realization that the relationship between him and his boss just might be unhealthy. And so he is trying to get away from Dracula and be his own man. And in the process of trying to live his own life for once, he finds himself mixed up with a Nolens police officer played by Aquafina, who is trying to take down the mob. I would say, and then it gets weird, but Nicolas Cage is in this movie, so it's weird from the word go. I could have gone to see Air last weekend, but Air does not have Nick Cage playing Dracula, and I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to see Nick Cage playing Dracula. I'm not made of stone. This certainly is not the first time I have seen a comedic take on the world's most famous vampire, but with all due respect to Leslie Nielsen and Mel Brooks, this was just a bit better than Dracula Dead and Loving It. I thought Holt did a very good job as Renfield, a man who is trying so hard to live his own life but just can't quite break free of Dracula's grasp. And as he is so subservient to the Count, he has a very fragile appearance most of the time. But he can temporarily get superpowers by eating a bug as one does. And Cage as Dracula was everything I hoped he would be. He is just devouring the scenery and somehow manages to be silly and scary at the same time. I do not know why it took so long for him to play this role. I mean, this is perfect for him. Believe it or not, this is played as a direct sequel to the 1931 Dracula movie. They even digitally inserted Cage and Holt into footage from that film, which was actually kind of fun. Ben Schwartz is in this movie as Teddy, a mobster that Aquafina's character is constantly at odds with. His mother is in charge of this mob family, and the only reason he has any kind of power or standing at all is because his mother is in charge of this family. He's the kind of guy who thinks he's hot shit, but he is very much not. Deep down, he's really just a coward, and he plays that role perfectly. Aquafina plays Officer Rebecca Quincy, and the thing about Aquafina is she's Aquafina. Almost every time you see her in a movie, she's basically playing herself. And she was fine, she played her part well, there's nothing really wrong with her performance, it's just she doesn't have a lot of range. This is violent as hell, very much earns that R rating. Blood and guts and body parts are flying all over the damn place. There is one moment where Renfield rips another guy's arms off and then uses those severed arms to beat another guy to death. I mean, it's very much over the top by design. I thought the jokes landed more often than not, though there were a couple that were a bit weird. There's kind of a running gag where everyone in this movie, for whatever reason, has a very strong dislike for ska music, and I wasn't even aware that people gave much of a shit about ska either way. I mean, I'm sure there are still people who listen to it, and that's fine, but its peak has come and gone. It's a joke that feels at least a decade late, and maybe that's when Robert Kirkman wrote the original story, I don't know. Speaking of the story, it is unfortunately the weakest part of the movie. It has its moments, but every once in a while it kinda lost me. When Dracula is ultimately introduced to the head of the mob family, it seemed like she was just a little too quick to believe he was the real Dracula and not just some creepy guy in a cape. Even if I was introduced to a guy who looks like Nicolas Cage does, I would still have questions, you know? And I wasn't really buying the romantic angle between Redfield and Rebecca. It just seemed a little forced. Overall, I thought it was perfectly fine. It has its shortcomings, but the over-the-top action and the performances save it. I don't know that you need to pay full price to see it, but it's at least worth a matinee. And that's all I have to say about Renfield. Till next time, take care.